Right, welcome. So today, when it comes to a carb to fuel injection conversion, well, there are a few things you need. And today, we're going over the computer box and wiring loom. More specifically, the short loom that you get that is needed for doing a conversion. So, this is my 1.98 valve engine. And as you can see, it is fuel injected. Now, this was originally a 1.8 carb engine. But we decided to update it. So today I'm going to take you along with and show you how to install the short loom and computer box for your MP9 conversion. So with all this being said, sit back, relax and enjoy today's video. Now when you first see a loom, you might think to yourself, ah, okay, I bit off a bit more than I could chew. But honestly, once you know where everything goes, it makes the job a lot less difficult i'm not gonna say easy but it makes it a lot simpler so starting off when you first get your loom we're gonna be working from the injector side so on screen now are the four plugs that are gonna be connected to your injector and you see the black plastic at the bottom of them that is what's gonna clip onto the fuel rail to just hold all of the wires in place and just make it a neater job so the black plastic piece actually consists of all of the wiring that runs for each of the plugs that are going to be connected to the injectors. So that wraps around the fuel rail and as you can see to just connect the plug onto the injector, it's simply you just push it on and that is going to be you connected. So if we follow the loom down, the next plug that is going to need to be connected is the plug that is going to be attached to your throttle body. So, as you can see, you're going to run through a connector, and once you pass the connector, you're going to find your plug that needs to go onto the throttle body. As you can see, it's just a straight connection on. There's no need to modify or cut any wires. It just plugs straight onto the throttle body. So, everybody plugs on, that's on. Now, before we carry on further down the loom, we still need to attach one more plug, and that's the plug for the airflow sensor. So, this is going to be on the other side of the intake. Now on the same rail as the plug for your injectors. Well, at the end of it, you're going to find this piece. Yeah, you're going to find this plug and this connects, as you can see, to the airflow sensor meter. It's going to connect to this and as you can see, it just follows down and straight into the rail. And this is just a straight connection on no need to cut or trim any wires just straight plug on straight plug on now if we carry on traveling down the loom well the next plug that we're gonna find is the one that needs to be connected to your coil and as you can see to just connect it you simply just push it on That's coil. Now the next cable that you're going to put on after that is your ignition wire. So this one you actually have to do a bit of cutting and joining. So the ignition wire we can see we have the loom here as a running and we see here the cable is poking out and you can see it joins up here. Now this is, an, this is a wire from the pre-existing loom, the original loom that the car comes with and as you can see it we made a connection from here to the old loom through, sorry, sorry, through this piece here, through one of these pieces. So we connected a lug onto there, connected it through there, sorry, got a lug to push in to connect and we just used insulation tape to wrap up the two cables and as you can see this is the final result now for your ignition now while we are we might as well just go over this but you can see here this is one of the original plugs that comes with the original loom and this is for your bottleneck coil that we have here so it plugs on yeah by the negative side and we need to actually cut it. We need to cut it and join a new wire to it. And that's gonna plug on here to your new coil pack. This is a three pin. This is a three pin coil. 
and this will then be for your rev counter if i am mistaken please leave it in the comment section down below or put a pin comments or something but yeah to my knowledge this is for the rev counter but yes you do need to change your coil pack but yes there are quite a few things that you need to do when it comes to actually converting from carb to mp9 or fuel injection so i will be making a whole video on going over everything and also giving like a price breakdown on how much it costs to actually get said items to do the conversion so yeah stay tuned for that video now if we carry on down the loom well we're gonna find a junction and that's gonna lead us to our plug point where our computer box joins up to our wiring loom and as you can see we also have a four pin relayer with the other cables connected to it just for safety purposes then the white cable this is going to be for your obd2 connection so if you need to put the vehicle on a computer well you can with that said cable now when it comes to the placement of your computer box this is truly it's, it's really just up to you now on the red two liter fox that we have we well my father bent down the lip here and he put the computer box under here under the rain tray with the metal plates underneath so water doesn't actually hit the computer box so his one is there a lot of people like putting it on the left hand side of the car because it's easier to access if your car does have aircon pipes because trying to macgyver and force and try and reach your computer box and probably remove it it's a bit of a slip now trying to get it underneath the aircon hoses underneath the aircon lines so the left hand side you can see there's a lot more access space so more often than not you will find them over here then you'll find people drill it into the car drill a hole into the car put a computer box in there and just have the car and just have the car's computer box being inboard and well for us we decided we don't want to do any of that and we built well made a bracket to just hold the computer box here behind the battery because honestly we didn't want to bend the lip but i mean i spoke about all of this in a previous video where we made this bracket the blank off right here i still need to paint this i don't like the way the tipics are showing and also the bracket for fuel filter and if you haven't seen it you need to go watch that video but after this one now the next wire that you're going to be dealing with if we are following along the loom is going to be the wire for the fuel pump now this is an orange and red wire the wire for the petrol pump as you can see runs from the loom which is here at the back runs out the loom there at the back we have it running all the way around here behind the brake booster and we have it running inside the car we made a slit in the chromature and pushed it in use some bloom wrap right here to run the wire through have it run through the grommets into the cabin where it then joins onto one of the blue wires that we connected from the fuel pump and ran within the car now as you can see here are the two blue wires that we connected to the fuel pump now one is going to be for earth and the other one is going to be connected to the red and yellow wire that we ran from the loom into the cabin so you're going to connect it somewhere under the dash wherever you feel like connecting it connect it up there so as i said you also need to find ground now how we got the wires inside the car well as you can see we removed the back seats lifted up the carpet and with a four pound hammer and a screwdriver bang the hole through the car i'm serious there's no exaggeration hammer and screwdriver banged it and that is how we were able to get the hole and after we ran the cables through as you're about to see well we lifted up the carpet on the driver's side of the car and just ran the two wires until it got to the front so now we have a black cable that's running from the front and we decided to just join the two cables running from the pump to said black wire now we just use some insulation tape to join not join well just attach the two blue wires to the black wire to just make it easier to pull through the car and 
that was just simply it. We didn't actually join the wires. We just needed the black wire to pull the two blue ones forward. So that's really the only purpose for that said black wire. And once the cables were all the way pulled through, well, we then connected them under the dashboard. Now, the reason for me not filming us actually connecting it, there's like no space to still put a camera and try to connect it. So, yeah, that's that. Now, if we move along the loom, well, then we're going to end up by our positive battery terminal as well as our negative battery terminal. So, the positive is red and the brown wire, that's going to be your earth that you can either mount to the body or you can just find somewhere to mount onto. Now we can see the ground where the earth is connected here. We see that it's also just connected with all of the other earths because we have from the front two all meeting at the single point and then we have the positive connected obviously to the positive terminal and we just put some loom wrap over it and just have it connected to the loom so honestly straight plain forward just put it on then next up on the loom that is going to be your connection for your knock sensor now just like a lot of the other plugs the knock sensor is just a straight push on and that is it's in place so the next plug on your loom you're going to find that is going to be the one for the distributor and just like the knock sensor you just plug it in and that is going to be <laughs> where it needs to be now the last plug from the loom to go on is gonna be you for your cold start switch this is a very straightforward just connect the plug straightforward no cutting no joining however what we do have to cut and join is the next two connections next up we have the wire for the temp gauge now this yellow wire is gonna require some cutting and joining to the previous well the original loom okay this is going to connect to the cause temperature wire which is where no it's got to be laying yes on here on the loom here somewhere on the loom on the loom on the loom this one here it's got to connect to this one that's what hmm. it's going to, to get the gauge working now after cutting the wire and just shortening it because as you saw we had a lot of wire so we cut it got the join ready and joined it together now after that we then put some insulation tape over it and fully wrapped it up And then lastly is going to be your engine earth. Very straightforward. You just need to find somewhere on the head or on the block where you can mount, where it's going to be bare metal, no paint on it, where you can mount and connect your earth onto. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how we have the wires running and to try and give it the cleanest look possible that we found understand there's no wire tuck but i mean we just try to neaten it up as much as possible cold start switch right cold start switcher we have the cable runs down we have a number three spark plug you see the wire drops down then if i bring the camera down we see that curves down and it comes underneath so yeah on the block we have the engine nut. This is where we found the engine nut. We made the wire really short because I mean, we didn't need a massively long wire. So we cleaned it up here, engine nut. Then we have your temp switch. You have your wire for your temp gauge. We have it running here. As I said, we used a bit of tape, bit of insulation tape. And you can see we wrapped up all of the wiring right here to make it as clean as possible. So that's all the wires wrapped up there. In front, you do need to connect 
don't forget you need to connect the wires that are also not parts of the wiring loom for example here on the oil housing yeah you need to connect up there we have the wire on the distrib on the distributor we have the wire on the side of the head connecting here yeah, the wire that runs in the original loom yeah on the box that's gonna head on over to the starter over there and we have the knock sorry let me try and bring the camera down over here we have the knock sensor and as you can see we try to tuck all of the cables underneath this metal pipe right here to hide because as you can see if you look over it yeah you can barely see any of the cables running i mean okay you can spot the one red cable but you can't really see any of them running along the metal pipe but if we bring the camera down we can see what we're working with there we have knock sensor cable tie holding the wires together running along underneath the pipe in here we have it running another cable tie another cable tie and we then see this is where it begins to split off as we have it run around on the brake booster yeah runs around the back then i don't know how i'm gonna try and tidy this up but we see that one wire runs to the front and that is gonna be the main one here for the computer box the relay we see we obviously for the battery we have the positive here we have the ground here as i showed runs underneath all of it is running at the back behind here we have the petrol pump the connection there running as i said through the chromity inside we used these metal rails well these metal holster pieces yeah at the back to also just help tidy up neaten up the wires as they need to be run as they need to be ran through uh as you can see there is no fuel rail yeah we working we had a bit of an issue with the fuel rail so we still need to sort that out connect that back up but then obviously as i said connected yeah to airflow sensor in onto here where the injectors plugs are and this is going onto the throttle body right like that so that is going to be how you run your mp9 wiring as i said we have the two cables running from the fuel pump at the back and that is going to be running in the car along the sill yeah and then up under the dash and that's where you're going to join one of the cables to the fuel pump wire right here and the other one you need to earth you can need to find somewhere within the car where you can find an earth so this concludes the installation of your mp9 short loom computer box as i said you can install it any way you like and yeah if you want to see more content on the build as i said i have coverage on the entire build of the 1.9 engine front suspension rear suspension fuel tank install now wiring hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next upload and with this being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one